morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video tonight, Newcastle at home, it's a big, big game, obviously Norwich have picked up points this weekend, Southampton picked up a point, probably should have been all three, Watford just being Watford. I wouldn't say it's a six-pointer. I'd still say it's a big, big game, though, because um, I think both sides, Newcastle and Villa, will most likely be down the sort of bottom ends of the table towards the end of the season. So it is a big game, nevertheless. There's been a bit of history in the past between Newcastle and Villa. Obviously, we've sent them down in the past. I don't particularly care. But the big talking point is, of course, Steve Bruce's return to Villa Park. Personally, I'm not going to give him any stick because I don't really care. All I'm focused on tonight is getting the three points. All in all, though, Steve Bruce did stable the ship when he came and he got us to a player final and we were, you know, 90 minutes away from the Premier League. So I don't think there'll be any booing or anything like that tonight. I just think we've got to focus on ourselves, focus on Aston Villa, focus on getting the job done. Interesting to see what happens, though, after our previous result was a horrendous result against Wolves. 2-1 um, result flattered us. Let's be honest, we were so, so poor in that game. So hopefully we see a reaction from that. Apologies, there hasn't been a video, uh, you know, in the last week or so. I have actually been going to a load of neutral games on the second channel. Please Please go and check out the second channel where I'll go to loads of other places. Me and Simon, my mate, went to uh, Spain last week to go and watch an international game. So I made a video on that. So please go and subscribe to the second channel. Lots of neutral content. We go all over the place having a laugh and all things like that. So go and subscribe to Max on Tour. Link in the description and up there. However, however, big, big announcement. Villa on Tour merch is here. There is a link in the description to the shop. There is also like a, a panel underneath the description where you can see some of the products. But on there we've got mugs, we've got clothing, lots of different clothing with, of course, lots of different Villa on Tour symbols and crests and logos and things like that. T-shirts, hoodies, phone cases for iPhones. I like the phone case, the phone case is decent. Mugs as well. If you do order now, they arrive in time for Christmas. So be quick, get your stuff. I've made the prices as reasonable as possible. So go and check all of that out. Please, because I've worked really hard on it and I just hope you like enjoy it as well. So really appreciate that. I'm going to stop waffling on because I've gone on for way too long. Let's hope we get the three points up the villa. Hey, I'm Bingy Man with Team News. Bingy Man with Team News. For goal number one, Tom Heaton. Yes. Frederick Gilbert. Yes. Edry Conza. Yes. Oh, what? Sorry, Mings, Matt Target, Douglas Suiz, Conor Horahan, John McGee, Amla Al Ghazi, Wesley, Jack Grealish. So who's missed out? So there's no, there's no angles. Engels eating him on the bench, there's the guys on the bench. The Cambers missed out on the bench. There's no Engels! <laughs> Return of the Ginger! It's been a while, man. What are you thinking today? I think we're going to win. We've got the home support, and yeah, I just feel like under the lights, we play so much better at night and all that. Give so. us a score, sir. I'm going to go 2 0. 2 0, clean sheet. Wesley's going to get a goal. Wesley. I think Tyrone Mings might pop up more. See you at Man United. Oh, yeah. Woo! Billy, what are you saying today, mate? 2 0 Villa. 2 0. Al Ghazi with Wesley today. Are you confident then? Yeah. Good lads, up the Villa. Up, up the, the Villa. Villa. Good lads. Jack, what are you saying today, mate? What's the score going to be? I'm going to go 2 1. 2 1. Wesley Nice one, mate. Up the Villa. Prediction time. What are we thinking, mate? 2 1. 2 1. Who's going to score? <laughs> Matt Target, up the villa. Good lad. Oh, what's the score prediction today, mate? 3-1, and my friend said match. Um, it's going to be 3-1 to win. You say 3-1, then up the villa. Bingy man, what are we saying? Oh, uh, let's go, let's go in one or two ways. Oh, we're going to win two or three comfortably, or Bruce is going to do us his own game. Eight minutes, last minute. Oh. I don't know. I, I don't know. If you go either way, I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. McGinn to score. I've seen the team a lot. He's put Horahan back in there. Good. N no Nakamba though. Weird one. Don't mind. We need this win. Big, big game. Up the Villa. <laughs> Why saying, son? 2 1 Villa, El Ghazi Grealish. El Ghazi. El Ghazi and Grealish. And it's Pyro! Aston Villa!
deliver. Get your end on that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know who's there. Should have scored. Oh, my God. We're all over these, Mark. He's been all Villa. What a save from their keeper. Douglas Luiz has the shot. Mate, it's been all Villa. These lot don't want to come out of their own eyes. It's, it's all Villa. Goal in. He's going to set it. Goal. There you go, sorry, cheers guys. Nice one. Villa! <laughs> Villa's going off. Uh, Villa's going off. We've been absolutely brilliant. Me and Jake caught goal. Oh, the boards are in oh, Me some. and Jake caught both the goals that we scored. I'm going to say 3 1. We're very good. Prime Barcelona, not the Villa. Have you got a quick shout out? Of course I've got a quick shout out. I want to say hello to my little boy Jake. I'm sure he's sitting down and watching the game. Like a lovely boy. Nice one, man. Hey, miss kick off. All the boys. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god, how's that not gone in? I don't know, I think it was constant free header. There's like six yards out, he's got a score there. He's got to score. Anderson! Anderson! The Scottish Cafe! The Scottish Cafe! Alan Hudson, the Scottish Cafe! 15 minutes to go, it's a tight game. Surely that's it, come on. <laughs> Wesley's had a tap in. That's all, keep it safe. Right then, easy as that. Fourth win of the season, 2-0 versus Newcastle. Um, Pre-routine, I think. 
they were so poor. Like, I think they're probably the worst side I've seen um, this season, apart from Villa at Wolves last week. Um, but honestly, they were so poor. They sat so deep in the first half. St. Maximin, St. Maximin, or whatever his name is, he's got so much pace. But he just stands on the ball half the time and loses it. Almiron is useless. I know they signed him in January. He hasn't got a goal or an assist. Joel Linton for £40 million looked useless. Didn't have a sniff. Um, I think we were good as well. You've got to give us credit as well. Esri Const is fantastic. Proper play we've got there. Defence looked decent. Mr Gilbert as well. What a man. Say thank you, Mr Gilbert. Thank you, Mr Gilbert. McGinn had a quiet game, I thought, but even still, he did his job. Fair play to him. Jack Grealish, sensational once again. Um, Wesley had a chance in the second half, didn't he? That tap in that he probably should have buried. I felt so sorry for him because he just needs that goal, doesn't he? He's got a fresh trim, shaved all his hair off. He's not messing about now. He just needs that next goal. Anwar, what a boy. I've been giving him a, a little bit of stick, I think, in the past, but fair play to him. He shut me up. He looked really good last night. Proper player, keeping Trezeguet out the side. Fair play to him. But the main man, the man of the moment, Connor Horahan, you could probably tell I was bit excited in the video. What a man. You start him, he gets goals assists. He's a numbers man. He's absolutely incredible. His delivery is sensational. If he's not in the squad, that's exactly what you're missing out on. I absolutely love the man. You can see how much it meant to him as well. A few funny things going around on social media about when Steve Bruce got off the bus and there was people booing. I mean, really? I mean, I know I sang Brucey what's the score, but that, that had to be done, let's be honest. Fair play to the Newcastle fans. They were quite decent. Fair play to them. Um, long journey on a Monday night. They they did well, even, even singing when they were losing. So, you know, decent fans. You've got to give credit where credit's due. Um, I don't normally do that with away fans, but fair play to them. Without further ado, though, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Another neutral game tonight. I'm off to Forest Green. So subscribe to the Max on Tour channel for all that neutral, decent content. We've got a lot, a lot of games coming up over the uh, Christmas break. Of course, go and check out the Villa on Tour shop. Link in the description. Please go and check that out. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Up the Villa.